officially marks the start of my fourth month on Roaccutane, which is insane. It's gone really, really quickly. Skin is great at the moment. I've got, I had a little spot here, which was my first one in a while, but that doesn't bother me at all because the rest of it is so kind of, it almost looks airbrushed a little bit. Like you can see the scars and the redness, but it's like blurred and smooth and just really beautiful. The best I've had it in a really long time. I'm really happy with it. So let's see how month four goes. This side of my lip did crack this morning, which is a side effect I haven't had in a while. It's quite sore. But I've started picking my skin again, which is really sad because now I'm starting to get some more redness. Um, this was a spot, but it's massively like left um, a mark, which is really sad. Um, apart from that, my skin is really nice and soft and smooth. No more side effects apart from, I guess, just feeling a little bit down. Yesterday I felt so, so sad and lonely and down and I just couldn't snap myself out of it. So, um, yeah, mood is definitely taking its toll on me now. But my skin's improving, I guess. I'm just really annoyed about this and this. <laughs> might have a different background for a couple of days because I'm away um but this is how my skin's looking I feel like I'm breaking out a little bit now around this area which is a shame because I thought that was over um and also my skin's very dry so I've just moisturized and it looks like this I feel like I can't move this bottom half of my face very much because it's so dry. Oh god, look, it's happening again. Why does this happen? It looks so stupid. So the last clip you saw was um, the day after I climbed a mountain. And even though I wore SPF 50 and reapplied it twice, um, I still got a little bit burnt. Like you could see um, where I was wearing sunglasses. And I had a little patch of burntness kind of here, which is still there. See, so yeah, I guess my skin definitely is a lot more sensitive than it should be. And since then, this kind of chin area has been so dry, like nothing is um, taking away the flakes, nothing. I've exfoliated, I've put coconut oil on, I've put all the moisturisers on, I've scrubbed it, nothing is getting rid of the dry skin. So I'm gonna keep persevering with coconut oil um, and just hope it goes soon. But yeah, apart from that, my lips, is is not normal. It's not good, guys. How stupid do I look? Apart from all that, my skin's looking amazing. Look at this. I think I've got a little spot here, but apart from that, it's so soft, beautiful. Day 103, I've been picking my face a lot, which is why it looks really bad. If I hadn't, my skin would look be a lot better and really regretting that now. Um, but hopefully it will fade in a while, so I've just been picking a couple of spots. Day 106, no changes really, still the same. I've been picking a lot, which is bad. So I guess the only kind of marks are scarring still. Um, no new spots, which is great news. Day 115, I've just remembered to film this before I put my foundation on. Um, this spot has come up. It's the first one I've had in a really long time. It's much smaller than it was originally it was a very big lump under the skin but it's kind of settled down and I haven't picked it at all and um, this side of my lip is really cracking now every kind of hour I'll look in the mirror and there'll be a massive chunk of skin there and it's and it's like where did that come from I've got some cuts on my forehead as well that I don't know where they've come from day 123 I can't move my face oh that just split oh that was really painful my eyes feel really gammy again now as well, like I'm getting another eye infection. Um, but my skin is looking really nice and when I wear makeup it really looks a lot more flawless. So I'm really, really happy about how it's looking. Just so sore in the corners, like proper scabs now either side. <sighs> skin is so tight. Day 126, this is the end of month 4 and the beginning of month 5. Um, my skin... Everything was going really well. I was really, really happy with it until I picked a blackhead, which was tiny. It wasn't even a spot. I don't know why I did it. And now I've got a kind of infection on my face where it was. Like, um, it's weeping. It's very sore. I'm really hesitant to put makeup on it, but I have been slathering on the kind of pseudo cream and eight hour cream. Oh, I'm so upset because 
if I hadn't have done that, my skin now would be perfect for the end of month four, which was what I was really hoping for. So, fingers crossed, this fades and doesn't scar. I hope it doesn't stay for too long, because I'm really, really embarrassed about it, and it isn't attractive, and um, I don't want to cover it with makeup, because it's that kind of sore and open. This is the end of month four. I really hope you enjoyed this month, um, and I'll see you next month.